Well, Dick, they've passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Number 42 is one of the players that you're going to want to pay close attention to tonight. He really makes his man work hard on offense, and he refuses to give up any easy jumpers. The Bulldogs will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Bulldogs should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. First of all, challenge every shot from the perimeter. Get right up in their faces, baby. Next, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Third, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. From right of the circle, tickles a twine. Trying to feed the low block. There's the trap. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Down inside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The point guard handles the pass. He looks for three. He gets the shot to fall. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Double team now, Matt Angler. He launches a three. He shows the sweet touch. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Shoots it. Great shot. Now trying to feed the low block. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for contact. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. He shoots from the top of the key. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Pushes it up. Parks receives the pass. Go into the low block. Waller receives the ball. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Trying to go inside. And he gets the rejection. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Great shot block right there. And some good movement on the offensive side. The skip pass is picked off. The point guard handles the feed. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. They run it up into transition. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Goes out of play. Oh, 
for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Spander is feeling great out there right now. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. From the baseline. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. And now there's a whistle and a foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He hits it. Second one is no good. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with the Vital and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The crowd really admires this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Both teams looking to get things going here. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. And he scores despite the hack. He rejects it. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Trying to draw the foul. In the paint. For two, Gonzaga have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. The offense is having a hard time finding the open look. Great defense. There he is, strips the ball loose. With a modest swipe, the defense is pressuring the ball and looking for the steal. Not only is he applying ball pressure, but looking for the aggressive steal as well. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He keeps his dribble as they reset. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He nails the bucket. Takes the pass in the paint. Robs him of the ball. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. You got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Oh, what a strip, Brad. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. He'll look at a pair of free throws. First one is good. Both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Defense! 
That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He's open if he wants the shot. Sinks the shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Foul charge. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Got a man in high post. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Here's a double team. He unloads a three. Defense giving some room from the top of the circle. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. It sticks. Fakes the shot, cross court. He wants a three, he drains the shot. Take some pride on a defensive end. On the dribble, gives it up. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's another look, Dick. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. They let him get into a rhythm. That right there is exactly what they expect from him, Dick. Every college coach in America would love a player like him, Mr. Nestle. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. There's a high screen. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. Working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Goes in. <laughs> Brad, 
for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. And working around the perimeter. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He shoots from the angle. He is just lighting it up, dude. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Looking for a good shot. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Ten on the shot clock. He squares up down in the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face-up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Shot clock violation, Dick. They really put the clamps on him there. Clamps is right, Brad. They ran, but they couldn't hide. Steals a pass. Oh, that's basic. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. And they come with a double team to stop it. Has a nice look at the basket. He fires from long range. Drains the shot. That's seven on answer. Looking for a good shot. Three off the rim and no good. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there. He's going nowhere. Ball well, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Wait a minute. Let's replay that one. Side. Intercepted. There's the trap. Moving it around the perimeter. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Strips the ball. It. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it with a quarterback pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Tell me this ain't the play of the night, Brad. In the paint. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. He drains the bucket. The ball goes out of play. Watch out, Nick. They're emotional. 
emotion seem to be getting the better of him. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Goes up for two. And, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. For two. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. From beyond the arc, he makes the shot. We'll get another look at it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. There they are on the low block, on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, but he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. He's got a high post flasher. Got a nice screen. Tries for two. Gave it up. From left of the circle. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Jayhawks lead by nine. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Zaga had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on a basketball court, they try to be Aristotle, man. They got to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Thinks about the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside-outside action always works. Dumps it in. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Finger roll. It's 
field. Go up the other way. Get a layup. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Hopkins makes a great move to draw the foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Makes the second shot. On the dribble, gives it up, looks at the three, rims out. Takes away the pass. He launches a three. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. out of bounds. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. The center gets the pass. Can't get the shot to go. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. executed takes away the pass the point guard takes the feed defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle there I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle taken away and back they come the other way he gets it to fall that's a seven nothing run they work the perimeter picks off the pass But inside. The small forward takes the pass. Great defense. Pushes it. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Up fake. Here's a double team. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Picked off, cross court, with a long bomb. He shows the sweet touch. might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Waller in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. 
Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got to with a thundering swat. They keep saying, get that stuff out of here. Puts it up, looking for contact. They scored 13 in a row. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. You can't play the ball every single time. Boy, he learned that the hard way. Number 22, pump fakes. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He pump fakes for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Controlling the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Ten seconds on the clock. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The center with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. High post player flashing. He puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Kansas are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. He nails the bucket. They move it into the front court. Good job defensively. For the deuce. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They're working around the perimeter. Intercepted. They work the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. From right in the circle, he grabs the board. The fans aren't happy. Nothing to cheer about. The silence says it all. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Erin. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with you, Brian, their time's running out. And 
let's go back out onto the floor. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Great shot. Let me hear you say replay, baby. it up for the bucket perfectly executed on the outside running right into the screen again what did I say he sinks another basket what are they gonna do with this guy Dick? I don't know Brad but they better do it quickly They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Shoots. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down here in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. This one has really gotten ugly, my friend. Yeah, it's all but over unless things change in a hurry. Intercepted. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. He uses the shot fake. There's the fake. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For the bucket. That's a 7-0 run. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive player. Rejects it. And the ball goes out of play. High post flasher is open. 
fakes the jumper. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The Jayhawks are up by 39. There's the pick. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tremendous defensive effort, and that forces a five-second violation. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. From downtown, scorches the net. Jumped in front to take it away. Trying to draw the foul. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. The point guard gets the ball. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. He hits the tough shot. I tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. There's the trap. And the jam. Goes up for two. And in and out. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, and you spin back the other way. the dribble gives it up takes away the pass working it around the perimeter jumps into the defender nice shot up and inside he squares up down on the low block I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Pressure that basketball. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He tries the three ball. Got it. Hey, don't let these guys get in too much of a rhythm. Can they regroup in time, you think? Let's see what happens. Tries for two. Rims out. Pump fakes. Gave it up. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. And they get the turnover. Fast break opportunity here for the bucket. Gets it to fall. In.
in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Takes it off him. And again, they look to run. On the dribble, gives it up. High post flashes. Robin pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. Misses the second. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes away the pass. perimeter the offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block Dick I tell you he gained big time position by getting the good angle the good arm entry had the real extension they just can't seem to miss they found a serious stroke with their shooting Brad on the dribble gives it up he attempts the trifecta. He drains the bucket. Shot clock is dead. They work the perimeter. move not successful Dick I think great job on the defense not allowed that one's blocked from behind great rotation by the D I love it off the rim and no good since the two teams were so evenly matched. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.